Uh, so my name's Rob Schrader. Um, I'm uh, from Northwest Ohio, lived here all my life, uh, father too. Uh, I've been married for a little over 10 years and uh, I'm a factor nine deficient hemophilia B uh, patient. Um, enrolled in a gene therapy trial a little less than five years ago um, at the University of Michigan. And it was, for me, completely successful. I wouldn't change a thing. Um, I have, prior to the gene therapy, I had to take um, uh, factor replacement therapy on a regular basis. It was, uh, a, prior to the gene therapy, I was taking it prophylactically. And it um, was once every other week that I would take the factor replacement therapy. And um, that kept my bleeds under control for the most part. But uh, very expensive therapy, um, always had to consider um, taking the factor uh, replacement uh, with me. It was, it's an IV uh, in, infused product, um, self-administered, but still, um, you know, it's always a consideration when traveling, uh, going anywhere, doing anything physical. Uh, you have to be aware of what you're doing and make sure you have your factor uh, uh, with you to in case an issue arises. Um, and then there are the cost considerations that come along with, uh, you know, these types of medications. Um, I have always been um, fortunate to have good insurance, uh, very good insurance, and it's always been top of mind for me uh, to take a job that had good medical insurance um, that was drilled into my head from a very young age because it was necessary. Um, so fast forward a little bit to, uh, uh, you know, four and a half, five years ago, I went into the gene therapy trial. Since then, I have not had a bleed. I have not used any factor replacement therapy whatsoever. So it has been from that standpoint, um, everything I could hope for, um, liberating myself from the need for uh, this continuous ongoing therapy. Um, also, of course, uh, bleeds can be, bleeds into joints are painful. Um, all of that is the, the benefits from not having that occur, obvious. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm 54 years old. At the time I entered the trial, I was 50 years old. And I had been down this road for, you know, a long time and didn't want to, uh, just didn't want to continue. I, I wanted to be free of it. And I saw the opportunity uh, with this particular trial. Uh, gene therapy has been talked about for literally decades. And honestly, I think like most hemophilia patients, I was beginning to think it was sort of pie in the sky. It was never going to happen. Um, and then as part of my work, I'm a pharmaceutical rep. Uh, I work in the oncology space. I was at a conference actually working uh, for my company uh, at that time. And it was a hematology conference, uh, hematology and oncology, um, uh, often at the same conference. And one of the speakers that got up was a different physician that ran my trial from the University of Michigan. Uh, Dr. Jordan Shavit, he was giving an update on a, a, another company's gene therapy. Um, it was, uh, oh gosh, this was a year before I entered the trial that I entered. And I waited for him in the hallway after he was done. And I introduced myself and I, I told him, you know, I, I'm from this company, uh, but I don't want to talk to you about that. I want to talk to you about what you're talking about. And uh, we, uh, we carried on the conversation. He said, well, if you're interested in entering a trial, let me introduce you to the people that run that at the University of Michigan and see if there's any kind of match. I attempted to get into a trial for the, the gene therapy that he spoke on that day. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And um, as it turns out, I was ineligible. Um, due to some of the blood work they did. Um, uh, I had some antibodies to the, the vector that they use. It's an adenovirus uh, vector. And um, 
it disqualified me for that particular trial. But in the meantime, I had met Dr. Pipe, uh, Dr. Stephen Pipe from the University of Michigan. And he kept me, I said, well, keep me in mind if anything uh, else comes up. And about a year later, he gave me a call and said, hey, this is Steve Pipe. Do you remember me? And I said, sure, I do. And um, he said, there's another gene therapy trial that's come up. They don't care about the, uh, or they've, they've done this trial in other places in people that have had antibodies to the adenovirus. So you would not be disqualified for that. Are you interested? And it went very rapidly from there. I went in and, and did a consultation. We did uh, some of the pr preliminary blood work and uh, all the other, uh, the physical exam, everything. And it literally from that point forward, it was, it was just a matter of a few weeks later, I was going in to get infused in this clinical trial, um, hour long infusion. Um, I, I commonly joke about it saying that my um, my only adverse event was boredom because they kept me for 24 hours in a basement room uh, at the University of Michigan. Um, and I felt completely fine. I was I felt completely normal. Um, I really it, it wasn't it wasn't an environment that um, I was able to, to sleep very well. Um, I had TV, I had internet, I had, you know, a book, I, all that kind of stuff. But frankly, I just wanted to go home and get some rest. And that's what I did the next day. Um, I went home, got a good night's sleep, went about my uh, normal day the next day, never looked back, never felt a thing, never had another bleed. Um, after an hour long infusion, uh, another one of my common phrases to, uh, to characterize this is, it was the most um, uneventful life-changing event ever. Um, it literally changed, it changed my day-to-day -day life. It changed my long-term outlook on things from um, worrying about what my insurance would look like when I retire. Um, in the business that I'm in, I understand Insur health insurance pretty well. Um, and I understand that it's, it's not getting generally not getting better for patients. And when you retire, it really doesn't get better. Um, I don't have that many concerns about insurance anymore, because frankly, since I don't have this to be concerned about, um, I don't really have any other major ongoing issues. So um, it's been very liberating. It's removed sort of that dark cloud from the horizon um, of, you know, wondering what issues I would have in retirement with insurance and, you know, running up these big bills and so on. So that's kind of a, a in a nutshell, um, been my experience. <laughs>